shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's leaves have all too short a date. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? I'm seriously multitasking today because I'm not only singing my version of Sonnet 18, but also showing you my climbing rose. So anyway, let's have a little look at it. This, um, just a little bit, that is, uh, I planted it a, a year or so ago. I planted two in fact, but I'm <laughs> not entirely sure what's happened to the other one. Anyway, as you see, this will, as I trust, go up and up and uh, also strings on the other side. This side, as you see, I hope will go partly in a vertical direction and partly uh, obliquely off to the upper right. As you see, strings tied to blocks inside the bedroom windows may have to do something drastic like put screws in the bricks, but at the moment that's how it, how it works. Pleased with it so far, so far so good as we always say. Anyway, here's the second verse. Sometime the eye of heaven's heaven shines and often is his gold reflection dimmed And every fair for fair of time declines By chance all nature's chasing course untrimmed Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? I'll show you one or two buds in detail now, I think. So, uh, minutes ago, um, there was a bit of wind blowing and these buds were shaking about. They're a little bit calmer now. Anyway, we, we should have a better look at them. So let's have a look at this one first. That's a... Um, I just don't want to keep it in the shade. So that, that, that's, I think, the best one at the moment. This one, I think, was the first one to come out. This was about a couple of weeks ago. And uh, as you see, it's still lasting, you know, it's starting to... Uh, to falter but it's done quite well for a couple of weeks and as you see one or two more all over the place and lots and lots of buds here lots of buds here and give them a little blow <laughs> oh there you are that that's uh, rough winds do shake the darling buds of may isn't it anyway so that's that's where we are at the moment and it's uh, it's time for the third verse But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of the fair thou wast, nor shall the brag thou wanderest in his shade, nor lose possession of the fair thou wast. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Now, um, I'll show you one or two little features now. I've actually done a bit of grafting. These are called uh, eye grafts, and I'm not sure about this one here. It looks the leaves are a bit crinkly. This one here, you can't really tell how well it's doing, I suppose, because it's um, it's just the, the eye, the very tiny bit of eye. Um, at the moment, you know, I don't know, it looks fairly healthy, doesn't it? We'll have to see. Um, these here, this one here and the one on the right I'll show you in a moment, are... Uh, tongue and groove grafts where you chop the rose stick if you like and you um, put a sort of arrow shaped one in and you stick it and those are looking I have to say a little bit better and we'll have to see how they do if these succeed they will be lovely pinky peach to go with the Rosy red. The other one's terribly difficult to see. Just about see it down through there. Can you see a bit of sellotape? Take my word for it. There's one doing, oh, it's doing reasonably well, that one, I think. Anyway, um, doing well. Why is it doing so well? Well, I think it's down to the fertiliser. And for fertiliser, I use beer. Beer, yes. Beer has to be specially prepared. Uh, you have to drink it first. 